The recent equipment outages at Newark Airport and the delays and cancellations that they led to have highlighted something that experts say has been a long time coming. The Federal Aviation Administration, which oversees air traffic control in the U.S., has long been underfunded by Congress, or at the very least, its funding has not been very consistent. The FAA is tied to five-year funding cycles, and so that makes long-term upgrades really hard for the agency to implement. As a result, air traffic control towers often rely on outdated equipment, and the ranks of professional air traffic controllers in the U.S. are short about 3,000 people. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy has made some promises for plans to upgrade technology at air traffic control towers and to boost hiring in the ranks of air traffic controllers. It remains to be seen now, though, how quickly and easily those plans can be implemented. Duffy is hardly the first administrator in Washington, in either party, to make promises about sweeping upgrades to the FAA, only for Congress to kick the can down the road on actually funding those upgrades. And while experts say it is a step in the right direction, we kind of just have to wait and see what happens. And these fixes aren't going to happen overnight either way. Even if Congress does agree to fund them separately from the FAA's usual cycle, it's going to take a long time to implement them. So buckle up as we head into summer, because this old technology is here to stay at least for a while, and that usually means headaches for travelers trying to take their summer vacation. Thank you.